Welcome back. In the experimental mobile blazer binding series that I have started in my previous video, whose link is in the description, I will now do some explanation of the get started hello world application and how does it work. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how the initial project hello world that we developed in the previous lecture worked. And because this is the continuation of the get started lecture introduction so if you look into this uh, mouse over, you'll find that this is a YouTube link. And I'll also put this link uh, in the down below in the description. And I recommend you to walk through that part before continuing. And we'll learn about the stack layout at the end. But before that, let me open the project for you that we have left after the Hello World application. Now, let's see what it contains. Um, we'll have to do for this We'll have to go for this shared first mobile blazer binding app. And I'm not worried about the Android and iOS because this is the basically the backend code, which has got all the, uh, you know, uh, razor components or blazer components, counter.razor, hello world.razor and app.cs files, which are the most important part. Now looking at the imports.razor file, this uses a uh, at using statement. As there are so many libraries that it brings and it contains the common directives that are applied to all other dot razor files in this folder and its subfolders if there is any subfolder okay and subfolders can have their own okay uh, import dot razor files so these uh, files with additional directive the most common directive is the using directive which is used to import a namespace into dot razor files exactly the same as a c sharp using statement and there is the app class app.cs it contains the main ui entry point okay this is the constructor and this is the main entry point into the application and this is replaced represented by a class that de derives from xamarin.forms dot application base class so this is derived from xamarin.forms.application this is the cl app class that is derived from this class all right now the constructor of this this is the constructor public app it instantiated a generic host okay this is a generic create default builder it is generic host and it adds services you can register services at this uh, place okay at the moment it is not there it's not required okay and uses the host to add a blazer component called hello world. So it host dot add component. It is adding a component called hello world. All right. Um, now let's go for the counter dot razor. Now one thing to note before going to counter component is that it doesn't need to register any services for this default project. And then counter dot razor. Now it contains the blazer component named the counter okay this is the counter dot razor is a counter component now a little bit introduction about the stack layout orientation now here is a slide about stack layout the stack layout positions child elements in a stack okay in a uh, stack either horizontally or vertically based on orienta orientation property we'll soon look at the orientation property the spacing property governs the spacing between the children. It has got a default spacing value of six. So this is the stack layout, okay? So it could be either horizontally or vertically stacked. Now let's go back to the project. So this is the stack layout tag with the orientation attribute, orientation stack orientation dot horizontal. And uh, let's see what are the other options. At the horizontal or vertical all right now what does this counter it counter contains a blazer component counter which you are already familiar for those who have come from a bit of a blazer understanding and hello world dot razor is a hello world component okay so now let's see what the counter blazer component contains now this is a, a frame corner radius and background color now this markup it defines the UI elements and their associated properties and event handlers. Okay, these are the properties and 
event handlers are there like uh, uh, on click event handler okay here the html like tags represent ui components so these are all html type tags these are not html tag but html type tags stack layout and stack layout this is a button this html like this button is of course a html tag they match xamarin.forms components and their properties and events now some properties have computed values such as label components text property so this is computed value because at the rate means it is a c sharp code so at the rate the button was click and this count the value of this count field is coming from this code okay the button was clicked so many times all right now this is the button click event so on click event when an event handler is run such as this on click event the component automatically re-renders which enables the ui to update without any additional logic more advanced scenarios can control which components re-render and when now this is the block of code that implements any event handlers or other components functionality okay so again uh, it is not out of place to comment that those who have already gone through my blazer earlier you know lectures on get started and introduction and many other lectures in the playlist that i will actually put in the description you will be familiar with this add code section this code increments the count field that's very simple it is actually uh, in a uh, void in a method increment count it is incrementing this count okay and this is also used as the computed value of the label component text property now let's see what is the hello world razor component does now this contains only the markup there is no add code block or code section and the counter component is referenced here counter component by referencing is it as a tag which is counter and and counter tag okay so this uh, component count component has been taken into the uh, hello world razor so this is the parent and the counter is a child now every blazor component is compiled into a class with the same name as the file the namespace is the root namespace of the project plus the folder names if any separate by dots the type can be referenced by other c sharp code via its type name which is not very common or in a dot razor file by using it as a tag and that's all so in this lecture we have seen how the hello world app that we have built in the last lecture is you know how it is interpreted Okay, thank you.